Hi, I'm Jared. Hi, I'm Marty. And we're from The Broken Seal. Today we're going to be playing... Uh, Alien Space Shop. <laughs> Alien Pet Shop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Took two people to get the name. Um, this is a game where we're going to be running a pet shop. Nice. You're going to pick which one you want. Okay. And then we're going to try and collect pets. Okay. The person at the end of the game who has okay. the most money okay. and victory points wins. Okay. Um, obviously, I'll explain how all that happens, but that's the basic premise. The dice represent our workers at our pet shop. Mm -hmm. And then we can also buy habitats for our pets to play in that might, you know, help them out. They're double-sided. Okay. Yeah. Oh, they're double-sided? Mm -hmm. Oh! Like how I said, I double -sided. you're like, okay. Oh! Um, while Maddie's going through that, I want to take a moment to thank you all for watching. I'm Please remember, be the cute girl. <laughs> well, obviously. <laughs> Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to help us to make these kind of videos and support us and all that, check out our Patreon down below. I'm gonna be. There's another side. Oh, shit! They're double sided. Mm -hmm. Uh, which one did you pick? Okay, so, um, what I was gonna tell you mm -hmm. is that technically there are easy ones and then there are normal ones. Mm -hmm. This one's a normal one, nice. so it's not as you know easy as the other ones. I'm gonna go with uh, Alien Aid because I rescue pets, not just sell them like some kind of pet monger. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so you get two of those. Those go in here. This is your break room. This represents our money. Mm -hmm. Put yours on the three. This is if we ever get past 50. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's going to happen. That one shows us what to do. Then the next thing, pick your starting pet. I know obviously you don't know what they do, and I knew which one you were going to pick anyway. I'm going to get the drag one. Um, so they go on the side that has the hazard because... They are, you know, our beginner pets. Mm -hmm. um, so on each turn, we're going to go in order. I'm going to start off first because mm -hmm. I know what I'm doing. This is yours as well. Look at it, but don't like flip it over. These are bonus points you can get at the end of the game. Mm -hmm. There's also these up here that are awarded to, you see how like each of them have a symbol on there mm -hmm. and how our pets have symbols on them too. Mm -hmm. Right up there. Mm -hmm. So right now it's just a hazard one, but you can add traits to them or get other pets with other traits. Mm -hmm. At the end of the game, whoever has the most of those traits gets the prize. Mm -hmm. um, and then that one is just, you know, what you're trying to do to get more things at the end of the game. So first we're going to go, uh, you can spend money, which mm -hmm. is just reducing this to either get more workers, get more pets or buy a, um, a habitat. Mm -hmm. You can do one of each, or you can only do one thing, or you can do none of them. And then we're going to do the worker phase. Everyone rolls. Whatever your dice are, assign them either to pets or to, like, things down here. Mm -hmm. um, I'll explain what they do. But um, after the worker phase, mutation phase, that's when if you put things in this area down here, you can add mutations to your pets. Mm -hmm. Or if there's, like, effects on here that say you can add them, which yours does not. So if you add a heart, Mm -hmm. mutation to one of your t uh, pets you mm -hmm. get money nice. um then the last phase is to sell things then we roll back up to the top all right okay all right so i'm gonna go first and mine i'm gonna buy let's oh these pets are like special mm -hmm. versus these other ones which are just normal okay. <clears throat> mm. well i think i'm gonna just kind of be like mean so I'm going to buy this one, mm. <laughs> which goes down one. Then I'm going to buy or hire a second worker, which costs two. And then I don't know if I get any meat. Uh, pay its cost and credits. Claim the worker from the supply and put it in your break room. So now I have three. And then it's your turn. Does this get flipped over? Yes. So... Oh, at the end of the round, we discard all of those. But yeah. There you go. I'll get this one. <laughs> so that costs one. Mm -hmm. I'll do the same thing as Jared. And then you just copy me. <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I know. Uh, uh, that one doesn't refill since you're the last person. Because mm -hmm. at the end of the round, we're going to discard all of those. Okay. Um, then we do our worker phase. So at the, we do this all at the same time. Grab all your dice. Roll them. Oh no! So if you get a hazard like mm -hmm. you did and I did, um, you have to resolve the hazard effects first. So this one, 
I think that means I start a fire. Or it starts a fire. I don't Mine know. poops. Mine poops. <laughs> uh, let's see. Whenever you roll hazard, claim the supply token matching the pet effect. Place a token on one of your displays with no pets or tokens. So you have rainbow poop. Mm -hmm. And I have a fire. So put them in one of them that has nothing. Mm -hmm. Basically, on future turns, you have to use a worker to get rid of it. Okay. Um, all right, well. Then, with the ones that you have left, these are care scores. Mm -hmm. You have to have you have to have to a worker with that or much or higher, but with the zeros, you don't have to assign a worker. Okay. Um, and basically, see, where is it? Uh, assign workers. So that's called care for pets. Pets with a care score of zero spawn without workers, and spawning means that they you can sell them during the, the sell phase mm -hmm. because they've procreated, and then you sold the, the spawn. Okay. Um, additional things you can do. Um, I'm going to assign this three here. So three or higher, I can get rid of one of those. One or higher, you can. Um, with these, I really can't do much, but with a one or higher, you mm -hmm. can sell goods, which just gives you more money. With... Um, what does this have to be or higher? I think it's just any dice. Yeah, so a worker of any value on the add a mutation spot, mm -hmm. which is what I'll do, then you can add mutations to your pets. So this one, like for instance, this one already has one, but then you can add a second one. Mm -hmm. Yours have, this one's both empty, mm -hmm. so you can add mutations to those. And then the last thing you could do if you wanted to is spend one coin to reroll, but we're both broke, so you mm -hmm. can't do it anyway. Um, all right, so then that was the worker phase. Mutation phase, and order, claim trait tokens, and assign them to your pet's empty spaces. And because of you, there you go. Um, then the sell phase. Everyone simultaneously sells spawned pets for money. Did Game, you not mutate? Well, no, I, oh yeah, I did. I'm sorry. That was in play over, so technically I should have gone first, but I don't really care. Uh, let me get, can you give me an eyeball? And let's go with another eyeball. Thank you. Then sell. So their their value is in the top. Mm -hmm. So I get two, you get two. Yeah. And then uh, end of the round, we are going to discard all market pets. Rip pets. Bye. Oh, bye. But my power is I can buy from there. Mm -hmm. And then refill one of these and four of these. All right. Gain one if you roll and keep any hazards. Okay. Um, so at the end of the round, you become first player. Nice. So there's five rounds. That was the first round. Mm -hmm. uh, there should be some way to like track it. They didn't give us anything like that. I'm just saying it out loud. Mm -hmm. We'll just re we'll use one of these. So now we're on round two. All right, while we. Okay. I'm gonna. What do these do? Uh, so you put them underneath your pet. So like, for instance, if I bought the cloner, mm -hmm. it'd go here. Then this uh, erases the pet value by one. So when I sell mm. it, I get two. This one um, what are the stars? lowers. This one, victory points. Oh. Because uh... some points, uh, some pets are worth victory points. Like, for instance, these. See how they have a star? Mm. Ah. Okay. I will buy a pet. One, two. This one. Okay. Oh, does this get discarded? Uh, yeah. Yeah, hazard tokens remain until removed. To discard a token, assign a worker with a roll of one or Remain until token. removed. That's all I needed. Okay. Well, I said shut up, Jared. <laughs> um, and... So you bought a pet. I bought a pet. And that's my turn. That's it? Mm-hmm. Okay. I am going to... I'm going to buy from the discard. For one and then I am going to buy a cloner habitat. I'll clone my helix. And that is the end of my turn. So then we go to worker and one roll. Alright. Nice. I'm gonna go here. And then I am going to does it matter which die you use? No. But it's still only plus one money. Right. Hmm. And you can only sign one at a time there. Hmm. Yeah, that's all I can really do. Um, 
Mutation phase. I'm not mutating. I'm mutating two times. I guess I should have. I'm going to go ahead and do it. This cause... fella can mutate twice. He can. Mm -hmm. And let me just make sure if you can add two on there. I got the same one. Okay. I'm pretty sure you can, but again. Uh, a pet can have duplicate traits. Trade tokens can Oops. have to remove once added. So I get two money. Oh, so check awards. If you have two or more of a trait in your trait shop and more than anyone else, you claim the reward. So I have three eye traits. So I get this one. I have four heart traits. So you get this one. Nice. If at any point I get more than you, I can take it from you. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, so we did our worker phase. I mean, we did our mutation phase. I'll get a... Um, I don't think you're going to try and steal away my thing. So I'll get the tentacles. 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 Thank you. Then we sell. So everyone sells simultaneously. I have one, two, four. three, four, five. One, two, three, four. I was at zero. So yeah, I'm at five now. I'm at eight. Jesus Christ. Um, and... Oh, because you added hearts on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's it. Uh, get all these out. Goodbye. 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 I'll take it from here. Goodbye. <laughs> Small. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. Is it five or four? I think it's four, actually. They're so cute. They are cute. It's one of the reasons why I got this. And I become first player. Um, all right. I'm going to get, when bought, clear any tokens from your displays. Oh, okay. I'm going to buy the Star Ogre, which costs three. Oh, actually, you know what? I forgot. Hold on. I can buy from the discard. I'm going to get the sh shoveling. We're in three, right? Yes, we are in three. Good on you, Maui. There's three. Uh, so that was four. Bring me down to one. And then the last thing I'll do is get the breeding chamber. Maui's turn. Oh, and you know what? Because I have three tentacles now, I get this one. Lord of the Eyes and the Cthulhu Award. Cthulhu. I'm going to get a Specto Pot. It's two. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to get... Cloner. That's one. Mm -hmm. I'll clone Scuttle. Scuttle. <laughs> uh, replenish the mission card. Okay, so you. And then I'll get a. Uh... Replenish as soon as it's gone. You can only buy one. Dang it. Yeah, it's one. One pet, one habitat, and or hire one worker. Okay. And or. Yeah. So like you can do all three. I can hire one worker. Yeah. Okay, it's just one. It's two. One, two. Pop a dice. Pop a dice. Pop a dice. I'm so poor. <laughs> I always have zero. Monty's sitting here with multiple monies. Three uh, monies. I think you can have, yeah, you can have a max of five workers. Mm. Um, all right, so then we get to worker phase. Oh, no, I got a hazard. I got a hazard. <laughs> I can spend one money to change the face of a die, though, right? You can spend one money. To re-roll. To re-roll any dice that you want. Okay, I'm going to spend one money. Now you can keep doing it. Nice. There you go. Um, so one, two, and I don't have to put, I don't have to put dice on these two, right? To sell them? Right. They just happen. Yeah. And one of my workers is just going to chill. Oh, uh, pet shop. This one's mine. How many hazards you got? Two. Which is, oh. <laughs> I, like, I didn't see no second hazard. Um, all right. Then, mutation phase. I'm not mutating. I'm mutating. Two hearts. One heart. And this one has another spot, so two hearts. All right. One, two. The cutest pet shop in the galaxy is going to run out of stuff eventually. I know it is. <laughs> uh, all right. Then the cell phase. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Boop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
11 monies. Even with my nine that I got, I'm still behind <laughs> Well, her. you had zero money, so. <laughs> so you're first. That's what happens when you have zero monies. You hear this that she's saying to me, audience? That's what happens when you're poor. <laughs> One, I didn't say that. Two, three, four, five. And Maui is our weeder. So, if you get this and you get a hazard, you have to discard. Uh, discard a worker. A worker. That's I'll what get him. Assuming. Let me just make sure. One, two. Yeah, discard all workers placed on this pet to the supply when the round ends. Consider not assigning workers on these pets if you roll hazard. The pet won't spawn without a worker, but you'll keep the worker. So, question: When yes, you roll a hazard, mm -hmm. that affects all of them. Or when you roll a hazard, I'm pretty sure it does it only it, affect it the one you put the hazard on it? I want to make sure. All right, so roll phase. Resolve hazards. Hazards are triggered by your uh, your hazard roll. Mm -hmm. Pets with the hazardous trait have a hazard effect. Resolve all effects, but only once around, even if you roll multiple. So, yeah. Okay. One hazard pops off all of them. Okay. But you can also pay one to yeah. re-roll. Um, um, so, gonna, you bought one. I'm going to buy... What's care score? The, the stars? The heart. The The dice. That's how much you have to, the, the value of the dice has to be oh. to make it spawn. Okay. So like for instance, you, have you been putting stuff on there? Yeah. Like you've been putting dice on there? Yeah, okay. every time. I'm just making sure. <laughs> I'm just making sure. Cause I, I didn't see no dice. I'm gonna get Crater City Okay. this one. And that was one. In theory, you can add it to anything. Like I know. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. Uh, oh, we're on four now. Then So we have this round and next round. My turn. Okay. Um. So I'm gonna buy mm. Yeah. So I'm gonna buy poopy. Poogie. <laughs> One, two. Um oh, duck. I didn't mean poogie. Small. It still cost two. No. They have the same color and it confuses me. Deco is who I'm buying. Okay, you sure this time? I'm sure. Absolutely okay. sure. No, no take backs. Okay. All right, so I have Deco. Um, oh, cool. And then I'm going to get the cloner. Which is another one. It was seven. I had nine, seven, six. Then I'm going to buy another worker. Four. And now we roll. Nice. Ooh, I'm going to pay one. Three. One. Does it have to be the exact number to put it on there? Better or higher. Better higher. Cool. Four. Ooh. And I'll go here. This one you just get a money for, right? Yes, yeah, so you just get one money. Cool. Um, I'm going to pay one more. I spent two, three, four, five. So I was at four. Rerolled once, reroll again. I'm going to keep that five, though. Okay. So since I'm keeping the five, his ability pops. Since I rolled one hazard, I get one money. Um, then all these hazards, or that hazard goes off, and I get a fire. Oh. Um, and I now need to place because I wasn't doing it before. Fuck. What was that? It was the five. Mm -hmm. Luckily. Um, four over here. Two over here. Five over here. Two over here. Uh, two over here. And so now you end? What? Now we end? Mutation? Yeah. No, not mutation. Monies. No, mutation. Oh, no mutation. I'm... Not mutate. Now we uh, do stuff. Okay. Um, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eighteen monies. I got twelve. Fuck me. <laughs> I'm at fifteen. 
<laughs> Don't uh, try to be as cool as I am. Uh, all right, and then this, I cleared this. There are also like sub traits down here, mm -hmm. which might, uh, yes. you know, okay. Just wanted to make sure. Give me that. All right. This is our last round, folks. This game goes quick. It does. I like it. I know. We're at 22 minutes recording, which is probably going to be shorter. Womp. Gar. Womp. 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 Ooh. System. Negate the hazard effect of the one right above them. Nice. All right. With my 15, mm -hmm. I'm going to drop down to 11. Get Gar. Damn it. Then I'm going to drop down one to get the breeding chamber. Damn. Then I'm going to... Uh, what else can I do here? I don't need another worker. It's not going to give me points. That's it. Mm. I'll get Starpede. Okay. For one. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Um, and I'll get another worker. And then I will get. I think this is fitting. People buy cute pets way more often. So that's Critter why City. she has so much money. Again? Critter City, y'all. Critter, Critter City, y'all. And then. That is my turn. All right. Let's roll. Oh, I got a hazard. I'm going to reroll one dice. I'm going to reroll. Remember, you can oh, reroll two hazards. You want. Yeah. I'm gonna reroll two dice. So I'm gonna keep the four and the three. Let me keep these. Actually, let me put these where they're supposed to go. Three, three, one. Okay. No, it's still hazard. I'm gonna reroll another one. I'm gonna reroll a hazard. Okay. All right. Better. That's fine. Oh, you I already <laughs> forgot you did yours as you were. Mm -hmm. That right, way, so I, four, I could remember. Four. And then I'm going to mutate twice. All right. And then. Mutate. And player order mutate. So I have two mutates. If you can give me one speech bubble mm -hmm. and one tentacle. Thank you. I'm going to get a heart so I get a money. All right. Then uh, sell. So one, two, one, two three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven. Only eleven. Hold on. <laughs> three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Oh. I got sixteen. Nice. Because my my pant my pet uh pets go to work. Mm -hmm. Um. All right, so that is the end of the game. We're at round five. Uh, we're going to do some counting up. Not real a lot, but if you want to, you can hang around. If not, skip ahead. So add these together. Mm -hmm. So I got eight. eight. Oh, actually, no. I got the Chatty Pets Award. Okay. So you got more than eight. One, two. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. And then, then that's stars, stars on your on here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And your... Um, Plus these two. One, two, three, four. Hmm. And, <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> Church just made a disturbing discovery. <laughs> How did that happen? Did he did not I had voice extra it stuff. Out. He did I not had... voice it aloud. Oh, and this. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I we didn't get this one. at all, I don't think. So I needed green critters. Two. I didn't get any. I almost got to 50. I didn't see any green critters on here. Green critters? Oh, the G's. The G's, Jared. They're green. 
Well, could have bought that one, I guess. But <laughs> still, I, I was going for points. So I didn't get anything on here. Um, I knew you were going to lose. <laughs> my co-host, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I knew you were going to lose. <laughs> I've known it since, like, the second round. <laughs> Finally, Finally thoughts. thoughts. <laughs> so, as our winner, how do you feel about the game? Um, really good. Um, I think it's really cute. Um, I love all the differences in all the pets and what they do. And their different um, classes, like on the side, that you can tell what they are that uh, like amount to whatever this their star th power thing is. Um, I love that your money goes on top of your stars, so you don't have to be like worrying. They're pretty much the same thing, your money and your stars. So you don't have to worry about a whole different board to keep track of your money and your stars. Um, I thought it was really fun. I'd give it like a four. Yeah. Um, I liked the game because it was simple. Like, you know, the rules. Simple and quick. Yeah, the rules are eight pages. And really most of it is just kind of like more information about what you can do on your turn. And the real breakdown of it, there's just, you know, four phases and mm -hmm. that's it. Um, also, you know, as you all saw, if you watch the whole video, it's real quick. Like mm -hmm. literally we got to this in under 30 minutes at, in terms of recording time. Um, I like the additions of the little habitats and I like that the special pets give you like abilities. I would like some more abilities, but you know, that's just because I'm older. Like the, the game is for 11 and older. There's I an easy it. mode. <laughs> huh? I love it. <laughs> There's an easy mode that you can play with for like if you're probably at the 11 or a little bit younger mark to just play like simple. But um, yeah, I I like this. I'd give it a four as well. So a four and a four gives it us a, a four. four. It's crazy. What? <laughs> Thank you all for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe and check down below in the description for ways that you can support us and get on this cool Patreon list. Ooh. Come back next time for games that I won't win but I read the rules. <laughs> Woo! Bye. Bye, Marty Stans. Oh, boo. No, no one goes <laughs> And Jared Stans, I guess. Jared Stans, too. <laughs>